What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Mortal Kombat. I just watched it yesterday and I have my notes here talking about Mortal Kombat. I just did a video talking about the Falcon and Winter Soldier finale. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right up there. Overall, the, like, I, I still I'm not deciding how I feel about the movie. Uh, maybe after this I'll, I'll, I'll have a decision. Um, but like it was a fun movie to watch don't get me wrong it wasn't great but it wasn't bad i just don't know if it was good <laughs> i'm definitely definitely it was an all right movie um and here's why the acting Cole's character the only other movie i've seen the actor in was um deadpool 2 and i forget the name of the character he plays but it's the guy with the, the hair and he turns invisible or something I don't remember no, no no he doesn't turn invisible whatever but that character so Cole I don't I don't remember him being in the Mortal Kombat games I don't remember it let me know but I feel like he was just kind of like a random character um and I don't like to hate on any actor because I'm trying to be an actor and I'm an aspiring actor so like I don't want to poop on anybody's parade but it's just the acting from his part seemed a little forced, it seemed rushed, it doesn't seem natural, so it kind of took away from his parts in the movie. Um, honestly, the best acting was Sonya Blade's character. That actress, um, I feel like her acting was a lot better. Um, and then second would be Jax. His, I really liked Jax's character in the first quarter of the movie, and then as soon as he got the robot, robotic arms, it was just kind of like... And that's another thing, the CGI wasn't that great in the movie. Um, one of a really great reactor, one of my favorite YouTubers, Tyron Magnus, I'll link his stuff in the description below. Um, I watched his review and he was like, I think that they showed us the first seven minutes of the movie was because those were the best seven minutes of the movie. And I was like, oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if they were the best. But they were definitely high up there because there wasn't any CGI. There wasn't really any, like, um, I don't want to say there wasn't any acting, but there wasn't really any dialogue for the most part. I mean, there was just a, the, um, the exchange between Sub-Zero and um, Hanzo's wife and his son. And then, of course, yeah, and that was it um, for the most part. And I don't know, it just... Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, but... Okay, acting-wise, wasn't that great. Uh, Kano was hilarious. Um, he was definitely up there. I, I guess him and Sonya Blade, the acting was the best. Um, hilarious, loved his humor and his comedy. So funny, so many different little like quips that he had. And um, I definitely want to watch it again to see, uh, write down some of the things that he said. It was just so funny. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's just hilarious character. And and I was like, I thought he was a bad guy, like the first half of the movie, and then the second half, of course. He turns into the bad guy, and I was like, okay, okay, that's the Kano I know. Um, another big problem, most scenes cut way too quickly. Like, it was, you know, cool scene going on, going on, and it was, you know, building up that scene, and then they had, like, a really cool dialogue, and then boom, cuts to the next scene. I'm like, what? You, like, you barely wrapped that scene. Like, why are we already going to the next scene? Like, I don't know if that was a creative choice that they were trying to do. They were rushed on editing. I don't know what it was. Maybe an inexperience of editing. I don't know what was going on but like for instance like towards the end when Cole gets his armor which I thought was just a weird power that he got um again correct me I don't know the all the lore of Mortal Kombat but I'm like that's kind of weird um when Cole's daughter says uh nice armor dad and then just immediately cuts and I'm like Ugh. That was kind of like a sentimental moment that you could have built on. Like he could have, she could have been like, "Oh, nice armor, Dad," and like, "Oh, thank you." Like, I'm glad you guys are safe. And then it just cuts to I don't know with Raiden or something. And then like, yes, it resumes later on when Raiden has the you know teleportation for them to for Cole to come back. But just again, just like give it a couple more seconds, and you could just build that that moment a little bit more. Um, Scorpion was awesome, of course. Sub Zero was awesome. Um, I feel like the masks that they had were a little bit too big. It just seemed like it was like coming out of their face. I don't know, just a little gripe, but still super cool. I would have liked for Scorpion and Sub-Zero to have, a, you know, the original kind of ninja mask, 
but I understand possibly because it's a, a real life movie and trying to, and also trying to do something different. I can appreciate that they did kind of go with the kind of like samurai type armor. That was cool. Raiden was eh. Um, I know the actor. He's a great actor. I've seen him in other movies. Um, just, I don't know. I feel like they didn't depict him that well. Maybe just because like the armor, or the, the clothes that he was wearing, it wasn't as... They were cool. But like when I think of Raiden, I didn't, I didn't picture that. But again, different style and choice they were going for. Again, CGI and visual effects wasn't that great. Um... I forget the main production companies. I know, I think New Line Cinema did it, and New Line Cinema has done some beautiful stuff, um, namely Lord of the Rings, which I'm a huge fan of, um, but I know New Line isn't 100% responsible for all the CGI and the effects, I understand that. But I would hope they would have some licensing over it, like they would have some supervision on it. Gosh, it was just, most of it was not that great. That lizard thing in the beginning of the movie that was fighting Kano and Cole and Sonya, that thing was done really well. And then you go to like that, I forget her name, that that chick, she was like, had the wings or whatever. And when, um, when Kun Lao, I think it was, was uh, freaking cutting her in the face, <laughs> uh, cutting her like in half with his little sombrero thing, um, I thought that was just like terrible CGI. I don't know. I'm, I don't do CGI. I can't imagine how much work it takes and I'm sure they were under a lot of restrictions and budget, but still. It was just kind of like Mortal Kombat 5 graphics. Uh, whatever. Um, again, Cole seemed pretty random of a character. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I don't know his character. Um, other characters I really enjoyed. Liu Kang's character. Um, I'm a big fan of Liu Kang in the game. Um, so it was really cool to see him. And um, at the end, I forget the move. I forget what it's called. But when he does that kick and he's just like... Like that, like in, in midair. Super cool. I'm so glad that they brought... Kind of like his signature, um, his signature kind of kick, and then at the end when he was just like, ah, like that, so freaking awesome! I love that. Um, and then get just destroys Cabal with that freaking fire dragon tiger thing. So cool. I don't know the name. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kung Lao, really cool as well. Like I said, sucks that he died. Um, I think it's in Mortal Kombat 10 when him and um, when Kung Lao and Liu Kang's character, they go into, I forget what happens, but they become like, they die and they have like the, they're like evil versions of themselves. I don't know what it's called. Um, and they come back in Mortal Kombat 11 and fight. Um, but I think maybe that's what they're going to do with him because he died. Um, I don't know. And then the end, alluding to Johnny Cage, was pretty cool. Um, I was I thought Johnny Cage was going to be in this movie, and I was just kind of like, uh, I don't really. I've never been into Sonya's character or Johnny Cage's character or Cassie Cage's character, like, just like the white bread <laughs> freaking heroes. Like, they've always kind of been just like ant to me compared to like, even as generic. I shouldn't say generic, but is is even as basic as um, Sub Zero and Scorpion are. Like, they're way cooler to me. I don't know, maybe it's the moves, and just, again, it just looks so, like, like, those three that I mentioned, they just look so basic, I don't know. Just, like, the military-type guys, like, like, compared to, like, Goro, Cabal, um, like, even in Mortal Kombat 11, you get Shao Kahn, Kodo Kahn, uh, friggin' Spawn, I love playing Spawn in Mortal Kombat 11, so it's just, like, I don't know. But yeah, it was it was a fun movie. It's just I definitely want to watch it again, um, which is probably saying a lot. Um, I, I know a lot of people were just kind of like, <laughs> like it wasn't that great. But if I'd have to give it a rating right now, I'd probably give it a seven, honestly. Um, now you know a six point five, I'd say I give it a six point five just because uh, it's just it was a fun movie. The the fighting was cool. It was done pretty well. Ooh, I'd even talk about um, the end scene with Scorpion. He comes back and he fights Sub-Zero. Super awesome. Um, when he's about to strike, when Sub-Zero's about to strike Cole, I think it was. And then he just, like that. And then Scorpion's like, bam, 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 bam. Good old That was sick. And then Sub-Zero he uses his blood. And it was in the trailer, of course. And I knew it was coming. But Sub-Zero, he gets the blood. He's like, 
turns into a dagger and it's like that was so cool really cool that whole fight and then at the end when they're all kind of all frozen from sub-zero and then scorpion just goes like that and just melts everything away really cool as well but yeah i mean there was there was awesome moments in it but it still didn't take away from the fact that the cgi was very poor in the majority of the scenes like when sub-zero um puts the ice on Jax's arms and it destroys it that was done beautifully that looks so real but then they couldn't do like other things that were just like i don't know i don't understand some of the acting wasn't done well which took away from the movie the enjoying it you're just kind of like eh. and then just the kind of like the jump cuts they cut scenes way too quickly that took away from the movie as well so just these little things here and there i'm just kind of like <sighs> could have been again i want to watch it again and i want to watch it with other people too because i watch it by myself covid and all this crap so um i don't know i just like I said, I want to give it another chance. I want to watch it again. But for now, I'm going to give it a 6.5, I think. just It was fun, but there was a lot of things that took away from the movie. Let me know what you guys thought about the new Mortal Kombat movie down in the comments below. If you liked this movie review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with a friend. I hope you guys are staying safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.